Hi, this is uh, Street Anjani. Uh, in this video, we will see uh, how we can uh, blink the LED using ESP32 and uh, uh, MATLAB Simulink. So, for that, uh, we need a Simulink model. Uh, here, we are using the uh, pulse generator. So, in the pulse generator, you have to use the pulse type as uh, sample based and uh, time use simulation time amplitude 1 and uh, the sampling time we have taken as a uh, point uh, zero zero 001 uh, so point zero zero 001 one number of samples it is uh, sending and receiving so for one seconds uh, how many number of samples so one seconds we need a number of uh, sample is thousand and uh, duty cycle 50 percentage duty cycle means 500 is the pulse width. So, initially we are starting with the 50 percentage uh, duty cycle. Later, we will do it for uh, 25 percentage and 75 percentage and also 0.1 second uh, how it will be uh, the LEDs, uh, LED how it is blinking we will see it. So, pulse generator we are this is the specifications and digital output the LED is connected in the pin number 26 so here uh, the led is connected in the pin number 26 uh, we are connecting then uh, we will run that here hardware board hardware settings um, here in that hardware implementation we have to select the hardware board as esp32 so what is the board you are having you can use this one and uh, under this target hardware resources, you will get the host board connection. Here the host COM port is 4. So, we are choosing this uh, uh, port number 4. So, if you have doubt which uh, port it is connected, we can go to that device manager. Uh, there under the port, we will get this number. So, we can use this uh, port number. Then, uh, here we have connected externally in the previous video we have used build and deploy because if you use pin number 1 uh, that is the internal LED pin number. So uh, pin number 1 only uh, we can send the data so uh, we can't use the monitor we can't run this uh, monitor uh, because uh, pin number 1 is used for uh, uh, sending dumping the code as well as uh, uh, receiving the data it is not possible any one operation only it will do so we have used built and deploy uh, but uh, if you connect the external led uh, in the pin number 26 so we can get this uh, output um, so we can use this monitor and tune uh, now we will uh, click on this uh, monitor and tune now we will see how the external LED is connected with this Simulink model. So it is start building and then code code is generated. So after completing building operation over and then the code is dumped to this uh, ASP32 and our LED is uh, switched on for 0.5 second at, and it is switched off for 0.5 second. Now we can vary the pulse generator uh, duty cycle and we will observe that uh, how the uh, LED is switched on. So, here uh, 250 is the pulse width. Here in under running condition only, I am changing the parameter. So, now you see that on time is uh, 0.25 and the off time is 0.75. So, off time is more. So, the LED is blinking like this. Now, you can change the duty cycle as 75 percentage so on time will be more and the off time will be less so you can see the output as see here on time is more off time is less even we can change the time period as here uh, um, 100 and then 50 so pulse width we are changing and we are observing the output see here 0.1 second uh, 50 percentage duty cycle so we are getting the uh, led is 
time period is 0.1 second so high frequency now we can change the period as 10 and 5 we can see that it will be continuously running so here no need to turn off the uh, stop the model under running condition we can uh, deploy that uh, whatever parameters uh, we want to change that we can deploy it so here again i am changing that to the period of 1000 and here i am even i can take this as uh, 800 so on time will be more so see here on time is more and then off time is less here we can change it as 10 percentage duty cycle so i can take 100 and here we will see off time is more on time is less so under running condition you can change whatever parameter you want you can change it and you can implement it and finally you can deploy and build and we can deploy it deploy it in the asp32 thank you